നിങ്ങൾ ഓരോരുത്തരും മലർന്ന് കാണുമ്പോൾ പ്രേക്ഷകന് മനസ്സിലാവണം എന്ത് കണ്ടിട്ടാണ് റോറുന്നത് When I was studying in school, I always wanted to become a mechanical engineer. I thought I'll join school of arts. My dad was totally against me joining. He told, you'll die in poverty and I want to be for a tea also. Getting into this profession itself was very accidental. ഒരു ഹിസ്റ്റോറിക് മൂവി എല്ലാം വർക്ക് ചെയ്യാനാണോ അതോ ഒരു ഫ്യൂച്ചറിസ്റ്റ് മൂവി ലൈക് റോബോ വിച്ച് വുഡ് ബി മോർ ഈസിയർ സോ ഫോർ മീ ഐ ലൈക് ഫ്യൂച്ചറിസ്റ്റ് ഫിലിംസ് ആൻഡ് ഐ ഫീൽ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഈസിയർ ദൻ ഡൂയിങ് എ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഫിലിം ബിക്കോസ് യു ആർ റീക്രിയേറ്റിംഗ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി ടെക്നോളജി ഹാസ് റിയലി ഹെൽപ്ഡ് അസ് ടു ഡൂ സോ മെനി തിങ്സ് നൗ ഓൺലി കാലാപനി ഐ വർക്ക് ടു ക്രിയൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ പീരിയഡ് ഫിലിം വെയർ വി ആർ ടു ബി ഓതന്റിക് അബൌട്ട് മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് തിങ്സ് വി കാൻ റീക്രിയേറ്റ് എക്സാക്റ്റ്ലി ഫ്രോം ദ കോസ്റ്റ്യൂം ഓൺ വാസ് ഈവൻ വിമനസ് ടവ അവനി അപ്പ ടവ കവർ ദ ടോസ് ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് നൈസ് ടു വർക്ക് അഗൈൻ വിത്ത് ലാൽ സർ ആൻഡ് Korean. that look was giving us a pirates of the caribbean feel ako undarnu already pirates of the caribbean see any ship doesn't mean that it is pirates of the caribbean <laughs> right right visually i think it should be a treat <laughs> and it was a scale was big for a malayalam film for the budget what we were working on i think the scale is quite big and bayanas actually handled it quite well if you have seen the number of films i worked i think around 60 to 70, 70 films i worked with korean actually i am quite comfortable with them and he is comfortable <laughs> with me i think Hi hello behind your eyes viewers uh, welcome to our show little chat with lips uh, today i have uh, the great production designer sabu siril with me hi sabu sir welcome to the show hi hi sir from a family with uh, ee kala background ullo or family sir what endana sir na really excited to, to take up this as a profession see <laughs> I was exposed to like I, my grandfather was an artist painter he was a photographer and all my cousins used to draw paint and all those things one of my uncle my youngest uncle Ronnie Vincent so okay. he used to take readers I just and from that some pictures he used to paint uh, like draw on the walls with pencil then watercolor pencil and then watercolors he used to do on the wall directly mm-hmm. so I used to keep watching him doing those kind of things and when he left after a month he uh, left Uh, gave me all the watercolors which he was using the tube colors then i started doing some thing like that and but i used to draw when i was a kid but this uh-huh. one really inspired me to really involved in paintings and things like that when i was studying in school i always wanted to become a mechanical engineer uh-huh. i was more into mechanical things and things like that making things like that but okay. when i finished my school but i think 10th standard uh, 11th standard I thought I'll join school of arts. That's the time I uh-huh. took it. Okay. But then my parents were against. My dad was totally against me joining school of arts. Uh-huh. He told, you'll die in poverty and I want to be for a tea also. Because those days uh-huh. artists were considered that way. I told I won't become right, a fine right. artist. Commercial uh-huh. artist. So I took up uh-huh. visual communication. From a shark, from a shark to something massive like Bahu Meli. So, you have set a standard for Indian cinema. So, how do you feel about yourself? Like, uh, Bahubali has set a benchmark for, you know, na- you know nothing more than this or, you know, something, if something is coming, that's only going to come through you. So, how do you feel about the whole thing? See, first thing, getting into this profession itself was very accidental. In fact, okay. I was called to, uh, do, uh, as a second unit art director, Uh-huh. to do ayer the great raji okay. anjal uh, art director he became a director so they wanted to come they told me it's only 7 days work they wanted some miniatures to be done and some uh, a few sets to be done small ones uh-huh. so my friend called me he was an art director he was called he told us abu will do it he will do it better than me and he uh-huh. introduced me to badran director uh-huh. so then i worked on that and everyone appreciated and badran offered me another film immediately Mm-hmm. so that's how i actually got an accidentally and not that i wanted to be in the, in the film industry i wanted to do art i wanted to do commercial art i did visual communication so i was just uh, practicing freelancing uh, during that period of time after the college mm-hmm. sir ipo bahubali pole or project you know it, it almost took like a year of pre production so at the point do you, don't you think it was bangara hectic or maybe the people working or how did you approach that uh, bahubali work how, how was it See, I really, I took it in my stride. <laughs> I, <laughs> I knew it was a big film, but uh-huh. I, I'm a person who doesn't think of the whole thing like that, actually. Because I uh-huh. want to do things, what I'm doing today, well, tomorrow's another day. So okay. I just try to do whatever has to be done. 
so when you take things step by step i don't think or else you might be scared or might think that you may not be able to handle the whole thing but i don't mm -hmm. think that way actually <laughs> but when i completed the film i was very happy that i did a big film and i did justice to it okay. but uh, maybe every film when i complete i am not very happy because i feel that i can do better so <laughs> it's, it's, i know you told me i didn't answer that questions asking how do you feel because i don't feel anything because i really feel that i have not done anything much it's <laughs> okay that is that is the problem of an artist i think you know many pieces what eppulo ad feel like i could have done better i could have done better right that is it, but i don't take it uh, straight away see everything uh -huh. fell in place and there would have been problems like in life everything has a there'll be problems and we have to come uh -huh. up so i take it on a stride basically so i don't really think about it. once it's over it's over and go to the uh -huh. next one so uh -huh. i really don't, don't get carried away by <laughs> you know things like that uh -huh. so now let me ask you about uh, you know it's like a homecoming for you so back to maraka so how how do you feel about how do you feel about the whole thing because your previous previous associations with uh, prayer russian and uh, lal sir you know both had uh, given you awards you know two two national awards one both have for their so was it challenging now engira engira how did you feel about the whole thing no it was quite challenging because normally uh -huh. <coughs> only kala pani i worked with priyan uh, film of this kind of uh -huh. this is a period film where we had right. to be authentic about most of the things but this one is a vision of the director actually though the character was real uh, in that particular time uh, uh, time space and uh, so on, i uh, we can't recreate exactly because if you see right, right. from the costume on was even uh, women should never have any upper uh, they should never cover the torso yeah, so right, right. in that period so we can't shoot like that any which right, even over right. the documentary yeah. i think it's nearly impossible mm -hmm. but so uh, i think certain liberties were taken as far as uh, it's a true character but uh, it is director's vision of how this character would have been in that kind of uh, so and it's more of a pan indian look which you have taken we have not gone deep down uh, the nativity of that uh, so so that okay. is a different approach basically so which yeah. happened in other films also like that actually. so the so docu drama kind of films and more drama and things like okay. that but it was nice to work again with uh, lal sir and you know priyan after a long yeah. time actually. we were you know when the trailer the, the teaser just came out you know our like that look was giving us a very pirates of the caribbean feel ok undarnu already so that visual treat aanu njangal expect cheyyandathu pirates of the caribbean see any ship doesn't mean that it's pirates of the caribbean <laughs> right right it was a, it was a portuguese ship we made a uh -huh. huge portuguese ship and okay. then made a huge tank to shoot all those things we uh -huh. had other indian ships also visually i think it should be a treat <laughs> and it was a scale was big for a malayalam film for the budget what uh -huh. we were working on i think the scale is quite big and priyanas actually handled it quite well okay. and tiru also did justice to the film who is a dop i think thanks to them and i hope my work will be seen <laughs> you know that was like my follow up question you know are you happy to see that you know malayalam movies are also ready to spend big i really don't know if the subject demands you have to spend see you have no right. choice actually see there are different ways it all depends on the director because uh -huh. some people take a approach of a key old vision okay. like then oh, then the whole thing is within that actually if you want mm -hmm. the scale like bahubali then it's a different call then actually you have to spend <laughs> money and cg is not right. cheap in which way mm -hmm. if you want to do it well so right exactly which is easier other or a historic movie che uh, ella work cheyano ado or a futurist movie like uh, robo uh, which would be more easier as an uh, art director the perspective alone see it is all based on an individual basically like actually uh -huh. i like science, science and technology so i okay. love to know more about it what will be the development in another 10 years 15 years 20 years the, the pace at which it is growing and i always mm -hmm. uh, put a google alert for me for any scientific inter inventions which is happening uh, today okay. things like that so for me i like futuristic films uh -huh. and uh, and i feel it is easier than doing a, a period history. film because you are uh -huh. recreating uh -huh. history You have to be right. very careful. So, for uh -huh. a, for example, uh, uh, if you trust your authentic, I'm not talking about uh, documentary especially, okay. but even in feature films, it has to uh, during 70s what you have seen, we should be able to uh, 
70s properties may be available but mm-hmm. if it was uh, 5th century bc like were right. probably and all that every property had to be made right and i feel 70s is in fact more difficult because people would have seen the radios and uh, things like that because it existed up to 90s right all those uh, even the chairs and things the designs of those days so mm-hmm. to recreate that and get those uh, things is mm-hmm. really difficult actually because people also know if you make a mistake they'll know but in futuristic right. films as far as it's convincing and uh, story narration and other things happen mm-hmm. correct i don't think we'll get into trouble but <laughs> i love uh, futuristic films because we can do anything imaginative and get right away. right right okay okay latest technology for cg is there computer generated graphics is there so how was this helping so from a production perspective how was this uh, helping out i mean the whole role if you creation how was it helping it's really helping a lot because actually i remember when i started i think color xerox was just there mm-hmm. and so even a print out to get that was expensive i think before right. that uh, you know, i think when i started in film industry uh, even to get a sticker like the which uh-huh. can be peeled off and uh, stick onto us when we used to write if it's icu we had to write it with hand okay. with the paint uh, that will show patches but it was authentic uh-huh. for that time okay. Okay. Uh, technology has really helped us to do so many things now including mm-hmm. typography today you can do type set those days we used to do type setting and then get a proof from that and then again but we can't print it in color So okay, okay. I used to use R ninety paper, C ninety paper, and color it for a menu card okay. and things like that. Actually, today okay. uh, just taking a print out is the easiest thing which you can do. In fact, right, I'm doing Kannada film with a metal. I used to carry my uh, camera, Sony camera, with the disc flop, floppy disk, and okay. one other printer used to be the small one, portable one. Okay. I'll carry okay. with me. So we used to take the artist photograph and immediately take a print out and put it into the photo frame to uh, make it look as if it's their house. Because, okay, okay. Uh, artists just come on that day for shooting, so mm-hmm, we won't right. be able to get their photograph with the family and things like that. So I used uh-huh. to hand, uh, use this technology as soon as it is available because even some oh, locations okay. there, uh, I bought a handy cam. Every mo- everything which I earned, I spent it on these kind of gadgets to improve it and use it better. Actually. Okay. So sir, uh, when if a or a massive project right when a director is approaching. so how do you take it like oru oru step by step process you know do you discuss about the budget along with etra spend iya and what are the other factors which uh, you take into consideration see budget is a big concern basically because without budget i don't think it's like a if you're doing a painting you need to know whether you're doing a4 size or on a big canvas or a whole wall so okay that sets the boundary for it actually so we start mm-hmm. thinking within that uh, framework okay. uh, we discuss about over the naturally production side will be very uh, some curious about to know about the budget mm-hmm. and our director will know want to know how much it will cost me and what you going to give me and how you are going to make it so i used to we used to do a sketch and concept art and things have changed now so okay. sometimes most difficult things we used to do uh, models to show mm-hmm. small models so it's easier for the cameraman for lighting and to understand and discuss things what is happening that said today yeah. aromatics are used because we are, if we are going to do action sequence because everyone mm-hmm. knows what is the action exactly going right. to happen right. almost like an animation film it will be with the sound mm-hmm. also like robo i think the train sequence was made like that so we knew exactly how many shots and what is the length of the shot so it makes us easier uh-huh. but once we uh, it's all everything depends on what kind of film you are doing okay okay Uh, it's so, a period so, film. It's a totally different call we have to uh, take. When it's a futuristic uh, film, it's different. When it's a social subject, it's different. If you're going to shoot in action locations also, which set can be altered and things like that. All these locations come as a big, uh, important discussion for, uh, part of discussion actually. Okay. So any so as uh, talking about robots, so any particular reason why you didn't take up uh, robot two? No, no, I was working on Bahubali two actually. Okay. 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 No, no. I in okay. fact, I <clears throat> I was called. We were discussing about it after Bahubali, uh-huh. and <clears throat> I almost started doing the concept art sketches, character sketches. That time it was supposed to be a Hindi film, where Amir Khan okay. was supposed to do that film. Uh huh. <clears throat> so I I had done few work, and then uh, director narrated the subject also to me, Shankar. Uh-huh. We discussed about it, but by the time that got delayed a little bit because I okay, think it okay. was not happening with Amir Khan. and it was again back to rajnikanth sir 
so mm -hmm. that time gap i i was uh, i was called for bowler 2 because i already did the first part so mm -hmm. i had to take over on that film okay so as uh, i said you know uh, the during this you know pandemic or during this corona time so one of the the people who were mostly hit was people who were working behind behind the camera so they were in like they they were in lot of lot of trouble lot of issues so you were having a very big team to back up so how are they coming out i mean how are they coming back to work and you know how did they how did you manage the whole thing see <clears throat> I, after the pandemic what of uh, the film which we started was rrr again rajmouli film okay, which okay. we were working on okay we had to take the protocols because Uh, we were divided in sections like the art department was working in a different place we mm -hmm. i had about there were only 100 people were allowed basically so i had okay. 50 60 people working separately so costume department worked separately on, on the shooting spot my department only two of them might represent so uh, and the shooting spot they were very strict that only uh, 100 people can be there so wearing the mask taking the temperatures in the morning they'll give you a ribbon to tie and right, you right. oxygen uh, oximeter will be the you know, pulse rate and this is checked it is not easy but uh, after sitting for so many months at home i think uh, everything going back to work was uh, interesting actually right 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 okay so sir, if i ask you like random you know one one director you are really comfortable in uh, working work, comfortable working with appo angam choikana engal aare irukum sir who would you say see if you are, it's very difficult to say that way because Uh -huh. each one has got their pros and cons and okay. uh, uh, see i am i am i always tell them i am like water because i'll take the shape of the container which holds me so uh -huh. what they want out of me i'll try to uh, become a part of that okay. if, uh, if you have seen the number of films i worked i think around 60 to 70, 70 films i worked with priyan uh -huh. so naturally i'm quite comfortable with him and he's comfortable <laughs> with me i think or else you would not call okay. me for the for the things <laughs> <laughs> okay so so sir uh, like so are we expecting another national award you know for marikar i really don't know because i don't uh, expect anything since he actually uh, when 10 mohan kambath i got a national award i didn't expect that mm -hmm. for the next year again i got for uh, uh, i think kalapani 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 so i don't expect so Uh, when i didn't expect it came so when i expect it may not come so <laughs> come on, okay. doesn't so i don't uh, take it uh, seriously that way because if it comes to me it's an honor that it right. uh, it's a another uh, sir uh, uh, apple what is the ongoing project sir like uh, rr is happening in anything in, in the pipeline i have not signed any film because till rr is over i don't think i'll be able to take up anything right right so uh, sir uh, would you really agree to the statement art directors are uh, art directors are paid to cheat the audience not exactly see cheating is a very wrong word to use here because no i mean <laughs> if, no no if i if i compare myself or any other actor with a magician yeah who's yeah. actually if you in your words he might, you, you might call him cheating but it is not that he's entertaining entertaining <laughs> right, people right, and right. impressing people with his talents by you know, okay. making make believe things actually so okay okay so that is not cheating it is a illusion which is created <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, that's all exactly. You and today magic also is a wrong word to use because it can uh -huh. be misinterpreted. So right. the word, right word is an illusion, creating an illusion, illusion. on screen. Okay. Actually. Okay. Okay. So thank you so much sir, for joining me, and you know uh, it was a pleasure talking to you. So uh, we are eagerly waiting for Marikar, and all the best for your future projects, sir. Thank you.